It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi, guys, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Before we get started, please subscribe if you have not yet. Thank you. Today's video is on the actor that played Barney's cousin, Virgil, and how he became Mayberry's biggest movie star. True. Let's take a look. In 1962, the Andy Griffith Show introduced Barney Fife's cousin, Virgil, as an awkward kid who needs Andy's help to build some self-confidence. Although cousin Virgil only appeared once, the character is memorable because he didn't meet very many of Barney's relatives on the sitcom. And the actor who played Cousin Virgil went on to become a major movie star, an even unlikely sex symbol in the 60s. Michael J. Pollard started his acting career with TV roles in the late 50s and early 60s on shows like Alfred Hitchcock Presents, uh, The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, Gunsmoke, Star Trek, Lost in Space. Off screen, he was painfully shy hippie who spent years surfing couches before finding success as an actor. That's when he got cast to play C.W. Moss in Bonnie and Clyde, a character based on a gang member named W.D. Jones, a real gangster who actually ran with a real Bonnie and Clyde. The real Jones said Pollard's depiction of him was accurate, saying Moss was a dumb kid who ran errands and did what Clyde told him. That was me, all right. Pollard impressed so much as C.W. Moss that he garnered an Oscar nomination for the role. And though he didn't win, he went from earning $14,000 for a movie to uh, $150,000 for his next picture, and soon a quarter of a mil. By 68, Pollard made the leap that pretty much only Don Knotts had made, going from Mayberry to major movie star. After Bonnie and Clyde, he became, as one critic declared in the Des Moines Register in 69, the idol of young America. Asked whether he was surprised that he became a sex symbol, Pollard answered, nothing surprises me. Although he became especially popular with the ladies, he was married to his second wife by the time he became famous. Said they fell in love so instantly, she moved in with him two hours after they met, and they married very quickly after that. As Pollard's popularity grew, though, his shyness never really subsided, and soon he was declining uh, celebrity interviews because of his basic shyness and timidity. And timidity. Uh, this shrouded the movie star in mystery, with the Pollard's fans clinging to details release in limited interviews where the actors mostly just talk about being a homebody. I usually keep to myself locked in the house unless I'm working, he said. After finding success, he bought a modest home in New York, preferring to live in the rougher part of the city with hippies and artists that he could relate to or he felt blended in. Uh, through the 70s, 80s, and early 90s, he didn't uh, did anything but blend in, though, garnering attention on the big screen and roles across the major movie stars from Robert Redford to Steve Martin. He also joined Harvey Corman on the cast of the short-lived 80s sitcom called Leo and Liz in Beverly Hills. By the early 2010s, he could still be featured in movies and TV before retiring in 2012 and then passing away in 2019. Back in 69, his dream after becoming a big name in Hollywood was to direct his own movie, but his idea about a guy who can't tell the difference between reality and illusion never made it to the big screen. Perhaps he never directed the movie, though, because he changed his mind and decided he didn't want to direct movies after all. In a 69 interview, Pollard tells the interviewer that he decided in the middle of their conversation that he's going to stop giving interviews. When asked why, Pollard said something very relatable. You ask me questions, and I have to think about answers. Then you go away, and I'll change my mind about a lot of things I said. I change my mind at least 20 times a day, he said. Be totally honest with you, that was the worst, least favorite, I'll put it that way, episode of the Andy Griffith Show. Didn't like Cousin Virgil much at all, but this was pretty cool. Uh, can you imagine Cousin Virgil is a sex symbol, or was a sex symbol? Pretty cool. So all I have for you, I want to remind you that the other three channels, uh, Beverly Hillbillies, Fox and Trivia, Classic TV, Fox and Trivia, and Classic Rock and Country Music, Fox and Trivia, are going to be off again today, back on Monday. 
with all four channels. So uh, while we're on hiatus for the weekend, why don't you head over to those channels and check out some of the old stuff? I would appreciate you doing that. And if you head over to Classic Rock and Country Music, please subscribe. Thank you. That's all I have for you. Uh, have a blessed Sunday. God bless you. And I will be praying for you.